happen if Marc Jacobs and Greg Lauren did a fashion collaboration? My next high fashion DIY. Stick around and find out what we're gonna do. So who is Marc Jacobs? To me, he is the king of graffiti. Check it out. Mark Jacobs is an American fashion designer. He was the artistic director for Louis Vuitton for over a decade. I love how he used the monogram pattern as a backdrop to graffiti and appliques and really ignited the brand into something new and different. Now he brings that same fire to his signature brand, Mark Jacobs. And Greg Lauren, oh my God, he is definitely the king of upcycling fashion and creating hybrid design. My vibe, totally. Check it out. Greg Lauren is an American fashion designer and the nephew of the one and only Ralph Lauren. He creates one-of-a-kind conscious designs like a mixed media artist. I love how he merges fabrics and textures into new unique clothing. His contribution to fashion is truly important to the sustainable fashion movement. I thrifted this vintage Hollister jacket and then I had a piece of leftover jacket from another project. So I'm gonna merge these two for a nice hybrid design. When creating hybrid designs, the first thing you wanna do is lay it out and just play with it. <laughs> I'm merging a stiff denim with a stretchy knit. So it's gonna take some skill and a lot of trial and error. I created some graffiti appliques from t-shirt graphics and I'm just gonna lay them out in some type of pattern to kinda get an idea of how I want to design this hybrid jacket collaboration. Remember when doing graffiti, uh, be as creative as you like. Create something that means something to you or express yourself in a way that makes you feel happy or empowered. Once you get your graffiti the way you want it, take a picture of it, then flip it over and do the backside. I'm creating my own design here, so I want to remove the Hollister logo and all the tags so that I can have a jacket that's uniquely mine. I'm going to use this hoodie to put a patch where I remove the logo. And now I want to also use the hood from this hoodie to make my jacket into a hoodie. So I'm gonna be cutting that off and I'm going to sew that onto my new hybrid jacket. First, I am going to hand baste everything in place and then I am going to sew the basted areas on the sewing machine. This is how it looks once it is basted. You can see I just did some basting stitches around just to hold that patch in place. And then I basted the hood on. As you can see, I just basted the hood right up under the girl brain ribbon. And then I'm gonna sew that in place so that it will stay nice and neat. Now we finished the easy part. So now this is the hard part. We have a like 2XL denim jacket that we're trying to fit into a large cotton knit jacket. Listen behind the scenes to see how we're gonna work this out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just overlap it and then stitch this down. I can stitch this separate. But, and then so this would be here and then- But it has to, I have to stitch it to the jacket up here. So it'll stay. So it'll have a place for it to stay. Yeah. And then stitch. Like before I you sew it on, you just stitch. I can stitch a this row of like stitch. a row down here separate. Okay. And then I have I have to make it fit to see. You know. Yeah, to make it fit this top part here. Because at least it should be stitched this is so much on oversized. right here, stitched on across there, mm -hmm. and stitched on across the across back. Across the back. And which leaves these side pieces kind of. So, I hang. mean, I could work with them. Just stitch it, just stitch it across the back and front. 
um, and just let this hang. Is that what you're saying? This right, yeah, just like let it let it hang loose. Like this is a fitted, you know, it's a lining and it's fitted, and this can just kind of be just the inner lining, and it's just kind of hanging. You want? Okay, check it off. Let me try it on um, and see if it's different. No, on I the, know what um, I got to do. So my mom and I collaborate in all of our designs and that was some of the behind the scenes. As you can see, sometimes it's challenging to work out some of these designs, especially when you're working with hybrid materials. However, we were very inspired and very challenged. So we created other hybrid pieces in addition to this one and make sure you stay to the end so you can see the fashion show of all the hybrid pieces we created and to see how this one turned out. so much for watching that was so much fun i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and if you like any of the pieces from this collection check them out at www.themirrortable.com and until the next video bye Make you save your problems for another day i'm your getaway